Happy birthday to me. I'm 5 plus 30. I'm still getting older. And that's okay with me. Uh, wow, here we are. Uh, my last video of 2023 already. I feel like I blinked and this year was over. I'm sure that's like, you know, many, many people's thoughts. It's, you know, nothing new or unique to anyone. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, here we are. I decided not to do a stream this year. I thought about it, but uh, figured I'd just do a little quick um, announcement video for you all because I've got uh, a few cool things to talk about that I'm very excited. I uh, hope you all had a lovely holiday season. I had a very, very nice Christmas with family. Uh, bonded with my niece and nephew. It was very sweet, and I uh, got some clothing for Christmas, you know, the bane of everyone's existence, and, you know, except for when you're 35, and that's what you need in life. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, shout out to my parents and my family. It was lovely to see them. And now, today, is my birthday! I'm 35. 35. I'm ancient. But hey, uh, you guys want to buy me a present or something, maybe? Well, that sounds like a perfect segue for an announcement. Uh, coming up on January 14th, uh, just a couple weeks from today, the lovely folks at Makeship approached me, finally. I'm so thrilled about this. Uh, to, they're going to be doing a campaign to do a Curbifer plushie. Uh, and I should specify, this is specifically the version of Curbifer from the 2011 uh, Tome animated web series, uh, the uh, kind of dark greenish version. I did a poll, for those of you who maybe didn't get the hint about this already, a little while ago I did a poll of, hey, which version of Curbifer would you like to see as a plushie? And uh, the results were overwhelmingly the 2011 version. So, uh, January 14th, we're going to be launching a campaign for that. So if you'd, you know, like to get me, like, something as an equivalent to a birthday present or something, you could wait a couple weeks and you can go back to the plushie campaign. Um, I, I won't have a link just yet, but I'll, I'm sure I'll be making, like, a little promotional video all about it when uh, we get closer to that time. Um, but, yeah, we have to hit uh, 200 sales in order for it to happen as uh, often as the case for these uh, makeshift plushie campaigns. So I hope you'll contribute because uh, I would love that very much. I've wanted to do a Kerber for plushie or just plushies of any of my characters for many, many years, and the opportunity uh, never came up until now. So uh, very happy and very grateful to Makeship for even allowing me the opportunity, because uh, I would like to think that maybe in the wake of uh, the success of the Rost Forest uh, remake animation, which, by the way, by the way, just hit one million views on Christmas Day a little while ago. Yay! So thank you guys uh, as well for the support on that. Uh, I have to imagine that was probably a big factor as to why they offered to uh, do a plushie in the first place, so yeah! Uh, also, uh, for those of you who uh, don't already know this from some of my announcements on my Twitter and everything, but uh, I'm going to be doing more convention appearances uh, next year. The first couple, and I'll, I'll have little promos for these as well, but I've got Anime Los Angeles uh, in the first weekend of January, and then uh, Comic Con in Alabama uh, in February. So uh, I'll have this back to back and I'll be, if you just follow my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash uh, yes, I am in fact still calling it Twitter, don't at me. Uh, but do at me, do at me, please, yes. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, posting my schedule and you know autograph times and yada yada. I'll have some new prints to sell and uh, I've got some uh, Funko Pops of Shawapu from Hunter Hunter as well, you know, uh, which is great. So very excited about that. Hoping to do more convention appearances uh, uh, over the you know year or so, kind of getting back into that. Uh, sort of realm again. It's been a long time since I've done that stuff, and I've done a few uh, just you know this this past year. But uh, hoping to do more of that, and hopefully you know meet more of y'all out there, because uh, I really really love getting to interact with you guys and gals and everybody in between uh, when I get to see y'all in person. Uh, so fingers crossed, and please of course if you would like to recommend me to you uh, you know your local convention if you've got one in your area, uh, please uh, suggest me as a guest because uh, I'd love to do as many as I can. So. Um, those of you, again, I'm sure you probably already know this by now, but uh, I'm in the midst of recovery. I had a surgery uh, a few weeks ago now. It'll be about three uh, weeks ago as of the time of this video coming out. And I've got three more weeks of recovery uh, on my wrist. So uh, as those of you you know, may have made out of cast already, I can't really jump back immediately into uh, any new uh, animation projects just yet, uh, which has been, you know, frankly killing me because I, you know, am not who I am. I feel like I lose my sense of identity when I can't be drawing and animating and it's it's not not my favorite, not my favorite thing. Not uh, not been super happy for that. But but that said, um, I'm kind of, while I'm looking at this sort of recovery period for my health and everything, um, I'm looking at the end of this year as I hit 35 
as uh, the end of one era for uh, my, you know, my, my sort of life as an animation person and the beginning of a new one. Uh, because as it kind of turned out just by sort of happenstance, um, you know, I, I, I was expecting to, I was kind of planning to do the, the, the Terrain of Magical Expertise A2Z Trilogy, a uh, little uh, special edition project in 2022, and realized quickly that it was not going to be super easy to pull off in, you know, that short amount of time <laughs> on top of that, so I ended up dipping into this year. And then unexpectedly, we got the announcement of the Mario RPG uh, remake on Switch, uh, which I hope all of y'all have been uh, playing as of late. Maybe you got it for Christmas if, or, or a holiday this, uh, this this year. But um, yeah, and then I went ahead and I did the Rust Forest remake. So it just so happened that this year was sort of a, a big year of nostalgic uh, productions for uh, you know things that I've been known for for a long, long time now. Uh, you know, since I kind of first became known uh, as an independent animator on the internet, um, you know, way back in the mid 2000s and stuff. And, uh, you know, the, the Rust Forest Mario RPG music video, um, you know, that's something that is personally meaningful to me, even though it was kind of in my era of doing, like, you know, parodies and video game, you know, tribute stuff or whatever. Like, it's something that's that, that I, I don't mind being defined by and associated with because, I mean, not only do I love the original game so much, but it's something that was made purely out of passion. And uh, likewise, you know, same thing with the, the fact that Tome, like I said, turned 12 years old this year, the 2011 series. Um, and uh, getting to do the special edition A2Z version with the you know updated scenes, new ending, and kind of revisiting that world uh, for the first time in, a, in quite a while. I think that that version of the Tome world, anyway. Um, you know that felt really special. It, it, it kind of uh, it was a perfect storm of these sort of nostalgic things, uh, both for myself and for my viewer base. Um, you know, kind of happening both in the same year, I guess, as it were. So, you know, in that same sense, it feels like the perfect opportunity, the perfect time to kind of, like I said, mark the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. So on that note, uh, I suppose I should talk a little bit more in depth about what my next major project is going to be. And I know that a bunch of you, uh, well, maybe not, I don't know, a, a small handful of you, perhaps, uh, that are, you know, very intimately familiar with my work, maybe know about, uh, you know, what my next project is going to be. But, you know, what? I've never really done, like, a formal sort of, like, announcement for it. I'm sure I'll have, like, a, a bigger, proper one when I get a little deeper into this. But... Uh, the next major animation project that I would like, hopefully, as soon as possible, uh, in terms of the animation and, you know, visual side of it, uh, that I want to jump into in 2024 is I want to create an animated feature film. Uh, I've done series, I've done games, I've done shorts, but I've never done uh, a true, like, film. You know, I'm not counting stuff like the Parody Rangers movie and, you know, even the A2Z, uh, you know, film compilations. I'm talking like something that was designed to be a movie from the beginning. Which leads me to my next project is Balancing Act. Now, like I said, I'm sure there's a small handful of you, you know, very, very hardcore fans of mine that might know this name, uh, that might recognize previous sort of iterations of this character particularly back when I was going to the School of Visual Arts in New York City, uh, I did a, um, a, a thesis film uh, that kind of used like a, a very early iteration of this. Well, I say early, but you know, that's not even true because this is, uh, this is basically my magnum opus. This IP is something that I've had since I was in my single digits, y'all. This predates Tome, and that is saying something. Again, I'm old, yes. I know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'm very enthused about this. Uh, I, I want to mention real quick that these uh, character designs and the concept art that uh, concept art that I'm showing on screen right now uh, was done by uh, Toxic Soul 77, Michaela Groves, who has been helping me with uh, redesigning the characters and uh, you know updating their designs and making them just absolutely fantastic looking. There's a lot more than these that you haven't seen yet, uh, but these are the four main characters from the project. So uh, what I've spent the last couple of years doing, and I, I've mentioned this kind of offhandedly in uh, you know different curve logs and updates and in my Patreon server and you know various things, that um, I uh, I've been working on the script. Uh, the last time that I wrote uh, you know like a, a, an older draft of the script of this was back in like you know I think end of college maybe you know very beginning of when I was getting into doing uh, you know the Tom 2011 series at the time and I was big into script writing you know a bunch of stuff but I haven't done like a after all the development and all the updates and things that it's been through over the years I haven't really done a proper like new draft of it 
uh, in quite a long time until 2022 when finally I, uh, I settled down and I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a full layout of how I want the story to go. Uh, and get all the sort of elements together and then what the scenes are going to be and then I finally went ahead and I wrote uh, a full draft of the screenplay in what, that, that would have been like probably summer into maybe early fall of 2022 um, and then after that uh, during 2023 between all the other you know freelance work voiceover and animation and, you know whatever else I was doing and directing and writing for other projects and stuff um, I uh, was waiting for feedback from some folks. I actually pared it down into sort of a, um, uh, a shorter, sort of more digestible version of the script because it was like, you know, running 200 pages plus. And, uh, you know, um, I do expect it to be fairly long. It might be somewhere between two to three hours in its current state. I don't know for sure. Um, I, uh, I've been kind of slowly getting back into that. And I, I was very busy with another uh, project, uh, freelance thing. Uh, actually, a couple of freelance things at the, the last half of 2023. And uh, as of uh, actually just, you know, while I was over uh, visiting family for the weekend, for the, for the, holiday, the holidays, that is, um, I kind of went back into uh, refining some stuff based on some of the feedback that I've gotten from a few uh, professional writer friends of mine who have been very gracious to offer me some of their time. And uh, that's been very kind. And I'm waiting for a few other people to read through it and give me some more feedback and stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's the current stage that I'm at with it. I'm having uh, Toxic Soul do uh, more and more designs as I can continue to, co to commission her uh, between all of her freelance work and everything she's doing. And I'm continuing to refine the script to be the absolute best that it can possibly be. Uh, but all of that said, uh, what what the hell is Balancing Act about? You might be wondering. Well, I'll give you the, the very basic, basic premise of it, but... Um, Balancing Act is a small-time superhero story uh, that focuses on these uh, four characters, uh, and they uh, they each have uh, sort of elemental-themed powers: uh, ice, water, earth, and light. Uh, the four of them specifically, I know, probably an unexpected sort of combination of characters uh, or of uh, powers that is, and uh, each of them deal with uh, a specific type of uh, very severe trauma. It's, uh, it's a pretty heavy-handed story. It's uh, you know, certainly the most heavy-handed thing that I think I've ever written. Um, it's pretty mature, you know, not, not in some kind of like crude way necessarily, but you know, it's, uh, it's pretty serious in terms of its uh, subject matter. But you know, I, do, I do want it to be fun and have some, you know, some nice comedy to it and some little goofy moments. It's very Shonen-inspired uh, you know, by quite a few uh, you know, Shonen series that I've grown up loving. Uh, with also kind of little uh, bits and pieces of to everything that I've ever grown up with. And uh, there's a lot of focus that I've put on to uh, the character arcs of the four lead guys uh, in it and, um, you know, kind of what their sort of journey of, uh, of self-help and healing and dealing with their own trauma and learning and improving as human beings. And it's something that I feel really strongly about. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with, even, even just as I'm continuing to develop it and rewrite it and refine it and everything, I'm really happy with, with uh, the message of it and everything. And uh, I hope that it will be something that's, you know, inspiring to folks. Uh, you know, Tome was one thing. Tome was a story about uh, trust between people. And I, you know, was able to refine that more and more with, uh, you know, each subsequent version between TTA and the 2011 series and the RPG. Uh, but Balancing Act is something that goes, I think, a little bit of a, a step beyond that, um, you know, in, in terms of its, uh, its, its deeper themes about self-help and self-actualization and, you know, uh, chasing your, uh, your goals and ideals and, you know, discovering who you are as a human being. I, I, uh, like I said, I feel really strongly about it, and I, I hope that you guys will too. I hope that it's something that you'll all be uh, excited about, you know? Um, I know that uh, the, the Tome sort of world is basically kind of at its end and, you know, whether I may or may not do anything else with that in the future, you know, probably unlikely at this point and, you know, trying to mostly leave the video game parody stuff behind and this is something that I've always wanted to do for years. It's, it was the main thing that motivated me to get into doing animation in the first place and uh, I hope that it will be, uh, you know, my core focus of 2024. That said, like I mentioned before, I, you know, can't draw or animate yet so I can really only commission others to help me with visual stuff and uh, work on the writing in the meantime. So, you know, not the most ideal situation, but that said, uh, hey, you know, while we're here on New Year's Eve, and this is also a perfect segue, uh, New Year's resolutions. Well, uh, I want to focus a lot on my health and my life and my day to day. I, uh, I tried when, you know, my, my kind of injury first started at uh, the kind of last little bits of time working on the Tome RPG where, uh, you know, I really tried to get back in, in shape and, or, or just, I guess, not even back in, but in shape to begin with. 
and uh, you know eating healthier and and working out more and exercising and I I really tried to push myself hard but uh, I didn't uh, turn out uh, push myself hard enough because I've not been getting the results that I really want to be honest so uh, I want to focus a lot more you know in between recovering from you know the surgery and if I may or may not have to get this you know surgery on my wrist another time and I'm looking into seeing a back specialist as well you know all that stuff um, I want to uh, really really get in shape I want to uh, update my diet a lot I want to you know learn to cook a lot more I want to you know take care of myself in those kinds of ways you know not that I'm unhealthy I've, I've been told apparently by doctors that uh, I am actually pretty healthy, which is great, and, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that. But I want to, you know, push myself further and further. I, you know, I really, really want to do that more than I ever have before, and uh, you know, because it's important. I think we all should take our care of ourselves as much as possible. I've been back to therapy as well, and you know, just just trying to to, to you know give myself the care that I deserve. And, and hopefully also, and as well, while we're talking about uh, you know, New Year's resolutions, is I would like to also be able to jump into uh, the animation phase, and, or, or rather not the animation phase, but actually the storyboarding and animatic phase of balancing acts within the year. Uh, if I get the script totally finalized and good to go and I get all the feedback that I want and I feel happy with the script and everything, um, you know, maybe I can start moving forward with that. Um, and I'll, I'll probably talk a little bit more about what I want to do in terms of, uh, you know, funding. I'm sure I'll do a Kickstarter campaign at some point. I would love to have another opportunity for people to, uh, you know, get themselves and their characters in the movie, uh, much like I have with Tome in the past, uh, you know, for background characters and little guest roles, you know, little things like that. I'd love to have you guys involved. And in the meantime, um, you know, in addition to the plushie campaign, like I keep saying, if you want to continue to support me and help me out, uh, you know, in the midst of this sort of, you know, transitional phase, I guess, of, uh, you know, from one era to another. Um, the uh, Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash curbifer is always a big help. Uh, you know, could always, always appreciate that. And, uh, you know, every little bit on that helps. So, uh, you know, and also, or if you want to pick up the, the Tome RPG on Steam as well, um, you know, still paying off the money that we owe the uh, publisher. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, same thing, every little bit helps. So, but um, yeah, and I've, I've said this to the, the folks in my little uh, Discord Patreon server, but I'll, I'll say it to all y'all out here as well uh, while I have you. Um, thank you. Just thank you very, very much for, you know, all of your wonderful support and help and, and your kind words on all the stuff that I've done, you know. Um, those of you who are Tome fans, those of you who are fans of my voiceover work or fans of my, you know, video game, you know, kind of Newground parody stuff. Uh, you know, those of you who are really hardcore from back in the TTA days, those of you who, you know, even know what the hell Balancing Act is and have been, you know, interested to see what it's gonna, you know, be in the first place, you know, for all this time. Um, you know, whether you're a new fan or an old one, you know, we have a lot, of, a lot of new folks that are on here, a lot, that's the biggest, like, spike in subscribers that I've had in quite a while, thanks to the Rost Forest remake. Um, just, you know, thank you. I, I, I really, really, truly mean that. I, and I know that I say that all the time. I know you're probably sick of it, but I can't say it enough. Um, and I, and, and like I always say as well, I hope that I can continue to give back to y'all with uh, some cool uh, cartoons and stories and content that uh, you'll enjoy. Um, and uh, like I said, also with the conventions and everything, if I'm lucky enough, maybe I'll uh, be able to meet a bunch more of you in person from here on out. So, so that's it. I think that's about everything I wanted to say. Uh, this actually went a little longer than I was expecting it to, but hopefully it was uh, halfway interesting. So, uh, everybody. Uh, Y'all have a happy, happy new year. I hope the 2023 uh, was fruitful for you. You know, it was some ups and downs for me, but overall, a lot of really, really nice things and lots of stuff to be grateful for and lots of stuff that made me happy. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I've, I've come a long way. And, um, and yeah, I, I hope that uh, 2024 uh, brings all of us some, some joy and some exciting new things uh, to be invested into and, you know, enjoying our day to day as we <laughs> go through our lives and just how to deal with everything, you know how it is, but um, that, that's going to do it for me, so I uh, hope you'll all be with uh, with loved ones, or, you know, eat some yummy food, or, you know, hang out and do some stuff that you, you'll enjoy as the uh, ball drops in New York City tonight for midnight, and we uh, ring in the new year, so happy birthday to me, and happy new year to all of you, I'll catch you all in 2024, fare thee well, folks. <laughs>